we had the first uh, uh, wave of corona crisis uh, in the spring. Uh, we had a lockdown from two and a half months here in Slovenia and also in in, in other in other in other states. Uh, what was your way in Sweden in the first uh, part of this corona crisis? It was a bit different because Sweden didn't impose any lockdown like many other countries did. On the other hand, there were strong recommendations to the citizens to keep social distancing, wash the hands, teleworking if it's possible, don't travel. And uh, it was also a strong recommendation, of course, to stay home if you felt sick at all. And uh, this uh, was another strategy, but still I must say, because I was in Sweden the whole time, uh, that people really respected it. And uh, my view is that people uh, took responsible action. Uh, so, uh, and also the, the infection rate went down, also in Sweden. Yeah, you could say, um, if you look at the statistics, uh, I think uh, one could say that April was a difficult month in Sweden as well for many others. Um, we also had uh, problems with the elderly care. Um, there has been um, infections in some homes and uh, there was a difficult uh, situation uh, for some of the most vulnerable, the most elderly people. But that being said, I must say that uh, what we see is uh, that the corona is going down and uh, that at this moment when, where we are now, uh, Sweden is continuing to have uh, less uh, uh, numbers and a better situation every week right now. The situation right now is um, optimistic, um, but of course we need to be aware that it can change. But we have seen a decrease every week for several weeks now. And um, even though school is open again after the summer, even though people are back in their working places, we have seen a decrease for several weeks. Um, I think the government uh, is not relaxing. They continue to say to people to keep uh, aware, to continue with a good hand hygiene, stay home if you're sick, social distancing, no big events, also teleworking if you can. But the figures are, are better at the moment than uh, in some other countries. It might be, but it's too early to know, uh, that since we didn't have the lockdown, we don't need the lock up. We don't need to open up the society again because uh, we have the same measures in a more long-term strategy. So we did. You didn't ha have a lockdown. You didn't stop the social life. Not completely, no. Uh, but still, as I mentioned, there was strong recommendation. There were also for not allowed to meet more than fifty people, and so all big events were. Uh, of course, uh, forbidden. Uh, but then the recommendations were also quite strong and people respected them. Telework, don't have big dinners with friends, stay home, take care of your health uh, if you're sick, uh, and also uh, make sure that you keep distance with people when you meet them. Don't go too close to people. Um, have uh, some uh, distance uh, even in the in the in the meeting in the outdoors and and in the working place and i think this recommendation is working in a long term strategy because it's the same now as it was in may uh, what is about the herd Im immunity against covid 19 how is high in sweden i think in slovenia is i don't know we have some information two or three percent how is this in sweden I don't have the latest figure on that. I'm very sorry. Uh, we need to come back to you on, on uh, how that looks at the moment. What I know is uh, that uh, uh, they, the, the latest news I got is that they do, the health authority did a big investigation how many people got corona and uh, they, they had a very good result there when they tested 
2,500 people and uh, no one had it. And I was uh, in a, they, they just took uh, um, people in a statistic uh, way to, to make it uh, as safe as possible. And, and then uh, I also know that uh, the authority is following the immunity situation, but I heard different figures there. So I don't want to say anything that's wrong. So I, I, I keep silent on that. Uh, and how is the border to your neighbors? Like, uh, uh, like Finland and like uh, uh, Norway? It they has are open been... Or closed? Can people travel? people have started to travel again there has been different recommendation for different regions sweden is a very big country uh, geographically so uh, there has been different for different regions uh, and um, there are uh, some parts of sweden who always have been able to travel and others where there has been uh, border uh, lockdown or what you say between the neighbors but uh, I think it's um, gradually it's opening. And you, you and you also have this infection rate is going in three in Sweden in your country down at the moment. Is it's it okay? going down at the moment. But yeah. In, in Slovenia and Croatia and all these states and also Hungary, Austria is going up. So you yes. are going down. We are going up. Yes. So this is the difference yes. at the moment. Yes, but I. I think it's very important that we don't point finger at each other, not when one country is going up, not when one is going down. Uh, but, uh, and we should also, of course, be humble and say that we don't know. Maybe Sweden will change in a couple of weeks. Maybe there is a reason that we don't know yet why the situation is like this. But there are, uh, at the moment, people in the public discussion uh, in Sweden who, who is saying that maybe the fact that we didn't lock down means that we don't need to open up the society again. So we can continue the same careful uh, way of, of, uh, of keeping distance, washing hands, staying home when you're sick, not have big gatherings. All the measures that we have had the whole time, we continue with them. And that it doesn't make so big change in the society now than a couple of months ago. And if you have, and if you have a good immune system, and you get not just coronaviruses, other disease, then you have ch chance to to be healed. But at this crisis, no one is speaking about this. How to to do on your immune systems? The people are still going into the fast food restaurants. The people are still eating, still eating sugars. The people are still not moving, and so on and so on. And I think the people are. I think here is big hole that uh, all governments all around uh, the world are not doing on this part of, let's say, of human lives. What do you think about this? I think maybe maybe you're both uh, correct and uh, and maybe not correct in your analysis uh, because uh, uh, there has not been very much focus on 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 health in other aspects um, and maybe that's also because we know that this virus uh, um, is probably rather tough on the lungs even if you would be very strong uh, so uh, the corona seemed to even even in uh, some young cases be rather tough on your lung lungs and uh, and even even if you have exercised a lot uh, it can be really tough and very difficult to go back uh, to to be be as strong as you were before corona that being said it's very clear that if you smoke you are in higher risk um, and uh, that is also saying that if your lungs are infected before by pollution, by tobacco, for example, um, they are in a higher risk with corona. And of course, everything you can do to strengthen your body will help you with infections. So, yes, I think you're both a bit correct. And, and then when, when it comes to the, to the smoking situation, um, I don't think that you're correct because I think there has been lots of information on the smoking risk 
uh, both in Sweden and in many other countries. And I also heard actually that many people stopped smoking during this uh, year. And this has been a wake up call for many smokers that if they would like to take care of themselves, uh, it's important to stop smoking. But I have also uh, another thing uh, about disease, about the cancer. Uh, in Slovenia, we have per year uh, more than 6,000 people that are dying because of cancer. And uh, of, uh, of Corona, uh, we had 133 people that maybe it's sometimes difficult to compare since um, a virus like this could hit uh, in a very big scale if we didn't take measures so um, i believe that many of the measures that's been t that has been uh, taken and the recommendations like in sweden has also prevented this this um, uh, infection to be an even bigger killer than it has been so uh, that is one answer to your question. But that being said, I really believe that we need to do more to prevent cancer and uh, the causes of cancer and also improve the, the treatment, of course. Uh, this is the big grief for um, many people in Europe and in our member state that their relatives and maybe um, uh, people who are loved uh, get cancer and uh, uh, this is uh, it's actually unbelievable that we have not managed to do to do more uh, I think of all the the early deaths in cancer that we really must be able to to treat and in the European in the European Parliament we have now extra focus on cancer uh, so uh, we have uh, started this uh, committee uh, that will only deal with cancer and um, how to help the member states facilitate uh, improve uh, and give recommendations of course to the european commission on what should be done europe can help by um, have uh, coordination and also when it comes to the rare diseases some cancer are few people who gets and they might have bigger threats uh, because they are few uh, and they don't have uh, the best medicine so i think europe by scaling up by helping each other uh, we can have better opportunity to treat these difficult and rare cancer tumors so if if you go back to corona uh, what can we expect in the next weeks months winter is coming what can we expect this has been the most difficult question all the time uh, it's always the question that uh, I think um, politicians might be a bit scared of because uh, you say wrong all the time because it's uh, so difficult. It has been very unpredictable how long this, um, uh, this uh, corona crisis would be and also what uh, we should do uh, because um, I don't think people in, in uh, February this year could have expected that Corona would still be so big in now in September. But that being said, I think the fall will continue to be second wave, but maybe and hopefully not in the big scale, more like we see in some communities in the member states. So hopefully the governments can take measures not for if they need to do more measures, they can focus on regional areas rather than the whole country. And hopefully we can continue to, to move a little bit more in Europe again, uh, because it's important for our society to, to be able to do that. Um, I hope that the schools will be open in all our countries. 
uh, because the kids, uh, for them, it's actually their childhood. Uh, a year is an ocean of time for a kid. I would say for a kid, one year can be like 10 years for you and I. Uh, so they should not be in lockdown, I believe. I really hope that the governments will do everything to make sure that kids are going to school for their education, for their social growing and uh, opportunity to have friends and also for the parents' uh, sake. It's very difficult if you're a single mom, for example, to have many kids home and still be able to work and maybe you leave the kids with your grandmother and she might be vulnerable to corona so i really hope that uh, the schools will keep open uh, when can we expect that this uh, this uh, disease like corona 19 will end and we can go normal to normal life or this will go on and go on and go on and go on I think that in a year from now, I think we will not think about Corona every day. Uh, we will still have rest of it uh, by measures still, uh, but we will not hopefully next summer think about it every day like we do still. Do you have some message for the Slovene viewers that mm. will see our interview? No, I'm just grateful to be able to keep in touch and uh, I think this is the big thing of the European Union that we that we learn from each other and that we stay close to each other. <laughs>